Four years ago, five lads decided to get off their asses and head for the hills in search of some animals. Little did we know it would hold the excitement it did. We walked for miles, crossed some rivers, talked some shit and learnt a few things. Some the hard way. Four years on, four years smarter, hopefully four years fitter and this time a ute with four wheel drive. We set off to chase the rush once again. After some well-earned shut-eye, we were welcomed to our home for the next three days by a pretty brisk morning. After glassing the hills around the hut, we decided the animals weren't going to hunt themselves, so we made a plan and started getting ready for the day ahead. Once the rest of us had got out of bed, we had to feed and were on the case. Although slightly jaded due to a late arrival to the hut, we were chomping at the bit to get into some action. We gathered our gear and got a move on. Filming halted for a while as we threw ourselves into some serious uphill battles. Surviving the hiding the hills were about to dish out became my top priority. After what seemed like an eternity, we were perched on the tops in the sweltering heat. The assumption we were four years fitter was slightly more optimistic than I had thought. We parked up and glassed the hills for a few hours, but nothing presented itself. The hard slog had got the better of us, so we had a rest and fueled up before we began our descent. Not long into our journey back to base, we saw Red. A tidy seven point stag was grazing in the tussock about 400 metres below us. With the sun on our backs, we knew if we played our cards right, we could close the gap and get a clear shot. So we prepped the rifle and got stuck in. Going down though, mate. I'm surprised it's fucking okay. <laughs> yeah. Fucking unreal, mate. Eh? <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. Give me. You fucking legend. <laughs> Pretty stoked, just shot me first um, red stag after a hurr of a slog. Some crook as a dog, but we got there in the end. Just heading down there now. It's a surreal feeling bagging your first big game animal. Venison meat is the ultimate reward of the hard yards, with the added bonus of a pair of antlers to remember the trip by. We were starting to lose light so the more experienced boys got into breaking down the stag, while I moved back to camera duties. It was best I held a camera and not a knife to avoid mincing the meat before it got to the butcher. 
but I was kind enough to leave some of the heart intact to enjoy for dinner when we eventually returned to the hut. Carl's just dropped it here as well. Chopped him. That's fucking awesome. Fuck you, Carl. <laughs> Unfortunately, what you've just seen is the classic mistake of pressing the record button to end the video, only to start it because it was never pressed in the first place. I am still kicking myself. Unreal. Good man, look at that. How does it feel, Carl? Good. Carl, the man of many words, ticked his first deer off just before he lost the light. A great first day with a couple of important lessons learned along the way. It's always nice heading to bed knowing a feed of venison was secured and we wouldn't be going home empty handed. Tomorrow held a new goal. Shammy. We were in no rush to get out of bed this morning after yesterday's efforts, so we saved the hunting for the afternoon. We got dinner prepared and had a nice warm shower to freshen up. I still felt like dog shit so I stayed back at the hut while the other fellas went for a shammy. Simon's signature shaka was thrown up once again as the boys had caught a glimpse of Carl's next animal, a chamois parked up in the afternoon sun. These fellas had forgotten to pack the main camera, so armed with only a GoPro, they got some semi-usable footage of the stalk. Boy. One chimney in the dip. Carl's second first animal was bagged and that marked the last day of hunting for our trip. Plenty was learned when it came to filming a hunting adventure and the way my body felt after was a good reminder to get some fitness in before going hunting with Simon again. More camera batteries, more filming, and more fitness. Four years was a hot minute between outings and we plan to make the next one much sooner. Another unforgettable trip and a great reminder of our privilege as New Zealanders. Spoiled with such beautiful landscapes and the ability to access them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next hunt. <laughs>